Hey there, I'm Oriber, and welcome to me playing Amnesia, uh, the Dark Descent regular story. This is my first video on the channel. Uh, the channel is just going to be a gaming channel, I believe. I don't know, maybe I'll toss some other stuff on it if I feel that it's uh, pertinent, but I'm going to play games for you. I want to entertain. I feel like this is a good chance for me to entertain you. I hope that you find this entertaining to watch, and on the other hand, I get to get out of my set ways with gaming. Um, I have many just, you know, habits and whatnot, and uh, bad ones, and uh, I'm kind of just stagnation all around with my video game playing. Uh, it's I'm really hoping that this will revive my will to play games, so we're going to play Amnesia. I've played, I don't know, maybe 40, 40 minutes of the game just to get accustomed to it because I didn't want to go in uh, fresh and failing for you guys. I didn't actually get around to getting chased by a monster or anything. I have seen Amnesia custom stories, but I have never actually watched the regular Amnesia game be played. So besides the 40, half an hour maybe, because it took me a bit to figure out a puzzle, but if you take that, that time, that's all the experience I have, and I'm really excited. So, yeah. Let's get to it. Wow. Loading. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have some fun. Don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Yes. I am Daniel. The, the fittest slumber, right all up on that ground. Oh, it's, that's an adventure. Um, I was really feeling the Bioshock Infinite reference there at the end. I would have loved to have gone into that a bit more. Uh, maybe play Bioshock, the Bioshock games, in the future. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I've played around with this a bit. It took me forever to find the sprint button the first time I played it, so I'm glad to, to be able to walk around to have some mobility um let's see also you're not going to see me floundering too much in the beginning just because i have oh it's the tinderbox i forgot i had one uh, you didn't see anything you saw an oh 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 sideways i blame you it's all your fault you did this to me <laughs> Goal. Yolo, run away. Well, this is so nice with headphones though. On oh, hello, Gangrel shirt and Tinderbox. Um, I've never played games with headphones on uh, ever in my life, so this is like completely new to me, and it's it's spooky. Alcoholism, bad. Um, slanted. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, we're starting with Amnesia. I want to move on to other games after that. Oh, come on. Yes, Tinder. Fly. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Dodged it. Totes dodge that. Um. Yeah, other horror games. Other other regular games. I have um. A couple different things that I'm going to put up in the next maybe day or two. Kind of just an overall branching arc of everything. Not a good game to explain my whole plan. This is, this is spooky. I mean, obviously you hear a bunch of good stuff about amnesia from basic... Oh, I'm done. I'm crippled. Oh. Oh. YOLO. Oh. Oh. God. Yeah, 
spin button. No! Oh, creeping along. Creeping along. Probably not much in here. Oh, <laughs> I'm ruining everything. Uh, can I open this? Yeah, I can. Awesome. Okay, nothing much in there. That's probably the way I have to go. Oh yeah, I have to follow the things. I forgot that's where I'm at in the game right now. Oh. Oh, that's right. Darkness. Darkness. Getting out of there. I need my sanity. Gangrel shirt. Huh. 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 Ugh, follow the blood oil wine. Unspecified. Traveling to the old archives. <sighs> the adventure begins. This, this is exciting. This is, this is unprecedented. Even. <laughs> Just live in the dream. Oh, that's Crouch. Oh, ghost paper, ghost paper. No bueno. It's like uh, Ghostbusters, the librarian scene. Oh, it's so cool. That's that's a classic. That's where it's all at. Um, oh, that's right, cockroaches. No bueno. I hate cockroaches. They are uh, not a friend of mine. Uh, so well done, though. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. I am not very good with the chests. Ooh. Yes! Yes! We've got it. We've done it, lads. We have the item of power. <laughs> Lantern! Do I need that right now? No. We'll tinderbox it. Tinderbox! Um, door. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I got some creep going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, lots of creep. Lots of creep going on. Um, ah, the mighty tinder box. Awesome. Uh, how about a hot coal? No hot coal for me? Come on, hot coal. Uh, nothing. Uh, they got nothing for me. Alright. Ow! Ow, Daniel, open the door. Ah! It's note time. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. All that victory. Um, let's see. Let's torch it up a bit. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing all around. Ah. Oh, aha. 
Secrets don't make friends, yo. Let's see, entrance hall. Alright. Look at all that harps, all that harp going. That's the good stuff. Um, let's see, we're spooking again. Why are we spooking? Why are we spooking? Oh, flutter, flutter. There's the rope. Oh, Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. It is tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. Boy, you know. All right, so. Oh, oh. There's too much ambience in this game. It's just. It's overwhelming. What do we got down here? Uh, wine cellar. Wine cellar is locked. We gotta key that up. Um, laboratory. This should be good. Loading screens are fun. Loading screens are fun. Uh, no, I know what I'll do. I want to conserve oil. Um, let's see, well, this... Ghost rocks. Ghost rocks. <laughs> <laughs> All that creep. Oh, oh, it gave me some oil. Which I'm going to try to, like, kind of hoard my lantern. I'm trying to be kind of safe about it. I don't want to run out and have to play the game in utter darkness. Oh god, I hate the... the, the, the closer, somehow. <laughs> Tinder. Yeah. Uh, there should be more Kubrat. Chemistry pot. Let me see. Let me see. And one part aqua force. What do we got here? <clears throat> this is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the culprit binds them well. This time, I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid. It should be highly acidic, right? All right. Improves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissues react. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Never trust an alchemy, bro. That's the first rule of alchemy. hear the screams. Get the fuck out of here. Whoa. <laughs> this is new. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, while I only crave a, a safe and fair return. Oh, oh, it does it again. I'm sorry. I didn't know it would do that, so. Oh! Splishy Splash Monster! Appease the spirits! Give them cake. I mean, potions. Uh, no, no potions. Oh, tender box. More potion! 
potion for the beast. You like the way it tastes. Don't lie, bitch. All right, what else do we got? The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are strained by the... stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. I... Oh, that's locked right now. I need four different chemicals to... To, 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 you know, to move on, or to use that device. From what I can tell, um, well, I need to get them from the wine cellar. The wine cellar is locked. And I think I need the acid to burn that fleshy stuff in the doorway that was, like, creeping up on me. So that's two doorways down. Uh, carry on, my wayward son. Back to the entrance hall. More loading. Turkish delights, he thought. Yum. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm not used or ready for that kind of screaming. Oh. It hurts me so good. Okay, that will have to be what chopped down at a later time, I guess. If my knowledge of other other stuff is true um, another one locked of course aha eagle eye um, let's go to the archives <sighs> all the adventures together I am um, Monster! Monster! Roaches! Roaches. Roaches! Gross. 16th of what May, got here? 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. <laughs> the professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Excuse me. All right, so we are what big fancy archaeology kid, uh, kicking all the butt, and um, I guess that's just our backstory. We're learning more about Daniel. Which is, is pretty cool. Because we don't know why he's got amnesia. He's basically a Final Fantasy protagonist. So we got to expect the plot twists. I wonder if there's more to him. Out of the way. Yeah, Tinder. Oh, okay. I'll waste the Tinder. Nothing, 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 nothing. Do thing. All right. Carry on. New room. Fantastico. Where are we going? The study. Oh, things are creeping, man. Gangrel shirts. I know. It's my. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. 
The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. It's, it's, it's like he it's never watched a archaeologist adventure movie. Indiana Jones and that. I, of course he got trapped. Oh, Daniel, you and your naivety. Oh, I just closed it. Oh! Uh, it might have been someone's ashes. I may be blaspheming it up a bit. Let's see, let's go check out the old tomes. I'm sure there's nothing Cthulhu-esque over here. Wow! <laughs> oh, the noises. Uh, I'm actually not sure how bad insanity can get to you. Oh, let's see. The local history is locked. Here, let's do that. Get some sanity back. May have been risking a little too much there. Oh! Gonna let me play? I want to play you a song. Let's see, we're all blocked off. Fantastico. That way. Uh, it looks nice outside, though. It's looking nice. Uh, this place is in shambles. This is. Oil! Oh, oil. You never let me down. Oh. Some piano. Oh. It's, it is so dark in this game. Map attack! See floor plans? Okay. In we go. Um. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Fantastic. And it's the ultimate irony in life. I mean, talk about the place collapsing and suddenly place collapse. Of course it... Oh. So I'm guessing we're in uh, Prussia. Uh, that seems to be a safe assumption. Tinderbox. Oh no. Oh, I'm going down. I'm done. Mama, I'm coming home. I'm coming home! 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light.
It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, grab it, chosen it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Ah, oh, that damn piano again. Um, let's see, what do we gotta do here? Creeping along, creeping along. Oh, that's right, hole in the wall. Not breakable by hand, so I just punch it. <laughs> he Man, Master of the Universe! You have to be Secrets swift. don't make friends. When you activate the first one, you hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Back to normal, please. I can't see. There we go. Ha! <laughs> we floored them now. Oh, what do we got? Oh, okay, local folklore. I got you guys covered. I got this. <clears throat> Altstadt and Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picturesque, as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will surely serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp, burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? <clears throat> A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, 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 <coughs> I, erudite, visited Elmstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Okay, last one. I got this. <clears throat> the Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most those of noble birth, the rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhineland, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. 
The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. So obviously, it's for sure the same exact Alexander that we're playing horror game. Um, Alright. So, door. Lock. Um, the blue light. A way into, obviously, the puzzle. We're in a study. And, I mean, I just kind of did this, what, 40 minutes ago the first time? So I know about the the books. Ugh, okay. And we're good. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It is just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. All right. Yada yada. Nothing in there. These are clean. And this is um, as far as I got last time. I saved right here at the key, and yeah, this was this was it. So, actually. I think this is a pretty good place to save it right now. We didn't get much horror done, but you've seen a bit of what I do. I haven't seen anything yet. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to what? probably get another one out tomorrow. Probably get another couple out tomorrow just to get this going. I actually want to get to the horror parts. So thanks for watching Amnesia 1. Uh, stay safe, YouTube.